G'day everyone. Thanks for joining me again as I wander down the Thames to see if I can find some more history in the mud. So I had some bad news and some good news this morning. The bad news was my regular tube stop was closed. So I had to go to the next one. The good news is it's here. How lovely is that? Hey, the beautiful, oh, sorry about the wiggle. St. Paul's Cathedral. Hey, okay. nice way to start the day, walking under that baby. All right, well, I'm heading down the mud, which is that way. So I'll see you there in a minute. Step, 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 step. Yay, we made it. I see mud, lots of glorious mud. Ah, oh. oh, the excitement. Those, seriously, those first few seconds and your imagination goes crazy. You're looking at everything, you go, oh, today's gonna be awesome. Look at it, you just think, it's everywhere. There's bits, there's pieces. There's sticks and circles and lines and curves and so many amazing things to find. And holes full of mud. Mm. A bit of horseshoe. Half a horseshoe. Can't see it from there. Lovely pattern glass. Hooks, twigs, stuff everywhere. Oyster shells, bottles, bits you'll never know. What are they? Great. Okay, here's a little. What's that? Oh, sorry. You see something round, and you go, "Ooh!" But um, I did see something. Where was it? Oh, there it is. There. Looks like the little, the lead top to potentially a toothpaste tube or some kind of tube like that. Maybe Victorian? Yeah, it was all squished up. Too many decades rolling around in the mud. Lovely little bottle. Peace. Exploring up there and down there. <laughs> okay, a very exciting find. Now, I did just pick this up, and I've just put put it back down again so you can see the context in which I found it. I didn't think it was anything, and I picked it up. It was sitting just there just like that and I believe that is a little watch find watch winder so we'll grab it again for the second time um, look at that isn't that gorgeous can you see the detail on that I see no idea what it is as I have never found a watch winder before so I'm assuming that's what it, what it is. I've seen some, seen some posts on them. Um, but look at it, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to clean that up. Can you see all the detail on there? I, I can't see any words on there. Um, looks like it's got a leaf pattern, I imagine. 
So, yeah, that is so nice. And with me, so many of these things I'm finding for the first time. So you're seeing them for the first time as I see them for the first time. So now I can do a bit of research, find out how old this is. Could it be Victorian? Is it Georgian? Is it older? Who knows? I've got no idea. All I know is it's old and it's time to do some research. Yay. Okay, do you want to realize how small some of the things are that you find down here? And when you find that small, you realize there must be so many other small things that you miss. You just happen to have your eyes in that one spot. So have a look, where are we? Um, in there. Don't see much. Still don't see much. Let me make sure I'm zooming in the right spot. Still don't see much. Still? No? Even I wouldn't see it. Still don't see much. Now can you see it? I might have to get my dirty trowel in here. Have a look. Right there. See that? Little wiggle in it there. That looks like a lace aglet. Because it's round and it looks like it's got a seam on that end. Let's see if my fat fingers can fit in this small little hole. Ah, oh, what do I do? I pushed it down. Oh no. Oh, where are we? Now yeah, I've got it. Is it, is it. is it or is it just a nail? Oh, I think I can see a seam up the side. Yeah! Okay, wash time. Yes, it is! It's a beautiful lace aglet. Most likely dating back to the 1600s. Woo! It's so crusty and blackened brown at the moment, but that will be beautiful, polished, golden color when it's cleaned up. I don't think it's got any decoration. That's one of my, my dreams, to find a decorated one. I've seen some people find them, and they can be absolutely stunning. This is obviously just a common aglet. Old, but common. Ooh, little bits of clay pipe. Pottery. Oh, I thought that was a clay marble for a minute. Look at that, you see that sitting there? That looks like a clay marble. Just a stone. So many bits down here today. Oh, here we go. Can you see, um, oh, sorry. Can you see writing on there? What's that say? Is that white? Oh, is that, um, our white? Oh, it's broken. Oh. Let's get a little clean anyway. Can I see through that? Look, it's easy to read when it was muddy. I assume that's our whites. Okay, see that brick? It was flipped over next to that brick, and I flipped it off, and look what's sitting right there and just caught my eye because look at that cool pattern on it. I expect with the amount of glass and stuff around here, that could be a glass bottle seal. What do you reckon? But it looks like a arm hand holding a sword. I think that's as big as it is. Yeah. Oh, yep, that is. Ah, what do I do with it? hard to see isn't it but um yeah oh yeah that's cool I can't tell what that is yeah I can see on the edge it is glass now, I don't know whether if I clean this is it just gonna make it worse everything I seem to clean once you get the mud off you can't see as much 
This doesn't show the detail. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. I wonder what the story behind that is. That's 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 nice and old. That is lovely. That's a chunky, chunky piece of glass. So I assume that is a bottle seal. Or it's some kind of decoration on the bottle anyway. It's not a seal. That is nice. Display that. What about put a light behind it? Little LED behind it. And see the arm and sword shining out. Now that's a good idea, me. Good thinking. Sitting in there. Now, it's the resistance, that's what it is. It's the resistance check. Oh, as you can see, it's moving a bit too easily, so I assume there is no stem to it. And it's broken. Okay. It's a nice little bowl, though. A bit of detail around the top. I can see another pipe. There. Yeah. Uh huh. Time for the resistance test. A little bit. No, no, not much. Oh, isn't that nice? It's got a little bit of a stem. That's a lovely little old bowl. Looks like it's a 1600s. Oh. Oh, the noisy builders. That's nice. Let's have a little bit of a stem on it when they're, when they're that old. Lovely. A tiny little broken pipe. Oh, coming out, yep. Isn't it cute? I W. So, would you agree with me that we've just found, you and me, that's right, together, we're on this together, we found a uh, lace aglet, we should date back to the 1600s? I think so. Let's see. Yep, there's the seam. Oh, it's broken. In the top there, it's snapped away, unfortunately. But it's history. And it's coming home with me. Now, you probably know me by now. You know I can't come down a foreshore and not go, ooh, there's a gorgeous pin. Oh, look at that pin, it's lovely. So I've got a few pin pickups to do here. Because they are gorgeous pins. Alright, can you see that? Now, it could just be something industrial, that shape. However, last night I was watching a show on History Channel, Discovery Channel, one of those ones, about the um, Spanish Armada. And they were talking about how when they had their cannonballs and all their, all their weapons, they had to measure the size of them because the English generally had ones that were the same size, but the Spanish were multiple sizes. So they had to have an item which they could put the cannonball, musket ball, whatever through to measure the size before it was used. And funnily enough, it was the exact same shape as this. So, what do you reckon? Might not be. It could just be a decorative something but it's just funny that the exact shape that little round fishy shape could that be a musket ball measurer basically if the musket ball can fit through the hole you can put it in your musket so you didn't jam up your musket and the bigger ones for your cannons with the wrong size um, piece how cool would that be if that's what it was Anyway, I'm not going to leave it here. I'm going to take it and um, do a bit of research, a bit of hope. 
look at the size of that monster. Monster bottle base. That's cool. And what else I see? Um, picked up. It's like an old um, cod bottle. Smashed to get the marble out, I imagine. A lovely base to what I imagine is a torpedo bottle. They were designed they were torpedo bottles, and that was the base. And they were like that, so they couldn't sit. They had to go on their side, so that the cork stayed wet and it didn't split and burst open. Uh, what else was here? If that's from the same bottle or whether it's from a cod bottle. Oh, I'm having fun today, so many bits. Little bits, but they're cool bits. Bottle anyone? Bottles, bottles, bottles. And I just saw this one over here. Still got the cork in it. Would have been a big bottle. What if that would have been an onion bottle? It'd have been cool if it was. It looks quite fat. Otherwise, it was just a big blue bottle. All right. Oh, good timing or bad timing? Bad yeah, good timing. If you can hear me over the church bells, I think I've got two very cool finds. Okay, let's start here. Lead, round. Okay, it could be a wagon wheel, toy. What do we, oh. I thought it was gonna be whole and go through, but it's just sitting there. Well, who knows what that is. It's a piece of lead. Which could have been, well, you know my idea. Part of a wheeled toy, but I'll never know, it's too small. Okay, I'll put that down there, and... Yes, it is! Oh, is it whole? Well, let's pop it out. <gasps> yes! Oh, that's a nice bottle. That is lovely. That's my best whole bottle. Now, is that an inkwell? I imagine it's got no, looks like it's broken at the top. It's definitely not like a medicine bottle. I'd imagine that crusty griminess is a, is an inkwell. Let's give it a bit of a clean up. Sorry, I'm in my balance. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is absolutely the most gorgeousest. Look at the top. Shut it along the top there. That is stunningly beautiful. Now that will go. When I take the um, mud out of the inside, most of that colour will go. That's kind of like, you know, I don't want to say oils, but you know, stuff built up against the mud. But um, it's a lovely, is it clear or is it aqua? I'm hoping it's aqua, but sometimes you clear them up, clean them up, and it will be clear glass but either way I don't care I'm happy with that that is my best little my first ink bottle my best ever bottle and my first ever ink bottle yeah nice okay there's a few of us just having a little chat down here in the foreshore and as this is my first ink bottle and I don't know much history about ink bottles yet but I'll learn I thought that was broken at the top a little bit disappointed that it's um 
not completely whole, but that is actually, uh, what do they call it? A burst lip bottle. So it's when they were actually, they were hand blowing these bottles. So you imagine that being made by hand, heated and blowing, and they had to crack the top off. So crack it off where they were blowing it to actually have the completed bottle. And that's, that's how they were made with that top like that. So that is awesome. What I thought was like a, oh, disappointment is cracked on the top is actually a feature. And that's what makes it what it is. That's what makes it even more special. Yay. All right, clean that one up. That one's going on my bookshelf. Plonk, just like that. Lovely. Okay, potentially another two nice finds. I love it when I find two things together. So that, which is interesting shape. Okay, I think it's just a piece of iron. Decorated for something, but um, yeah. I'll keep it for now, which I know what it is. But, um, okay, don't expect as much. And round, round. Feels the wrong weight and it's rusting. Oh, it's got something on it though. I don't think it's a coin or a token, but it has got some interesting detail to it. I wonder when I see that. I'm thinking, could it be a lead seal potentially? Um, I wonder what they are. All right. Okay, I don't think it's, again, I don't think it's anything amazing, but it's definitely worth cleaning up because I have been surprised in the past. It isn't focusing, but there is a garnet. Teeny tiny little thing. When you look at my finger, it looks huge there. Then you go, oh, it's miniature. Oh, I think I can actually see another one while I'm here. Where is it there? Let's pick that one up. Is that a focus? A bit too muddy. Yeah, I think that's a garnet. I'm certain it's a garnet. Where was the other one? Yeah. Oh, now I've covered them in mud. You're not going to be able to see them. I'm not focusing the camera. You're probably getting really angry at me. Okay. Well, let's see if I can watch them quite dry. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, you can't see them. See them? Two lovely little garnets. So, finally, the sun's come out. I can warm up. Now, I am getting quite a stash of pins at home so just in time i found what i'm hoping is a pin twist so i'm hoping it oh it's looking round it's looking good yay nice adding up now that's very lovely i can't wait to put another Bail of pins in here. What a shame that's broken. Very broken. And that is a day's worth of pins. Some lovely Tudor ones in there um, and some more modern ones. Was, um, yeah. I find it so much harder to film when it's sunny. You'd think it's the opposite, but I'm either do I film in the shade? Oh yeah, sometimes that's better, isn't it? You can see better. Ooh. Enough to get started on another um, pin twist. Okay, I cannot believe this. You saw me find a watch winder my first ever watch winder. How about that? 
Ooh. I think that could be my second. How about that? Two years. Okay, no, I'm not gonna get too excited. Till I see it. I think it is. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, now I can say it. two years. Okay, it's that bloody sun again. Sorry, it's that sun again. Two years and I hadn't found one. And now I find two under one day. Oh, yes, look at it. Oh, that's lovely. That's so gorgeous. The little detail on there. Oh, I can't wait to clean that up. That is going to be stunning. Oh, I'm so happy. Two, two watch finders. One day after two years. Look at it. That is gorgeous. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Why does it happen like this? Why do you get two after years and years? Oh, yes. Okay. I was thinking stone. It's just looking too round to me. What do you think? Should I pop it out? Oh, it's staying round, it's staying round. Yeah. Oh, that's a marble. Sorry, I thought it was going to be a clay marble, but can you see the light coming through that? Look at the beautiful red-orange of that. Eh, that's like a that's like a grapefruit. Miniature little grapefruit. That is lovely. Wow. Does that look nice? Lovely. I'm trying to find the right way, you can see it. Lovely little marble. Okay, thanks for joining me for the cleanup. So I've managed to grab a better photo of the glass item I found. Now it could be a bottle seal um, or it could just be a bottle decoration. Uh, bottle seals date from the 1600s. Um, the only thing they normally have the initials of the bottle owner um, or a date. So I'm not sure whether it is a bottle seal. Um, regardless, if it's not, it's just a bottle decoration and a beautiful arm and sword detail on there. Well, I didn't take a new photo of the marble because I couldn't match the beautiful light I had on the day it was found. So that's it again. It's in the clean up, but what else can I say? It's just a lovely orange marble. Uh, let's see what else there is. Um, aglets, yeah. So I found four in the end. So four, all different sizes some in good condition, some deteriorating. That's just the luck of it. But yeah, very happy with finding four. And now my first ever ink bottle. I was so happy to find this green tinged little beauty in the mud. Um, see the top there. Now, like I said, originally I thought that was broken. I was a little bit disappointed it wasn't whole, but I believe it's from a mouth blowing, or sorry, I believe it is a mouth blowing bottle. Um, because what they had to do, the mouth blown bottles were removed from the blowpipe by either cracking it off, bursting it off, or shearing it off. So what you can see there on the top is actually the process of remove, removing the bottle from the blowpipe in the manufacturing process. Well, you know I love a pipe and I never get sick of finding them, especially when they're beautiful little 1600s pipes like this one. Well, I've seen the occasional watchwinder found on attempts um, by other people, but after two years of trying, I had never found one. So how happy was I to find two on the same day? I was over the moon. So um, thank you to everyone on the River Thames Mudlarking Finds Facebook page for helping on this one, especially Malcolm Russell, who identified this as a 1700s 
uh, potentially early 1800s watch winder. So puts it as um, a lovely little, or them, as lovely little Georgian watch winders. And they are absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next week back down in the Thames as I search for more of London's lost history.